complicated was the first. Accessible, the second. Ah, I love it. Yes. Okay. Jenny. Scary. Possible. Ooh, that was really good. Okay, Chantel. Coordinated and comfortable. Okay, love it. Cheryl. Scary. Less scary? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Tanya. I don't know my first word, but I'd say my now would just be progressive. Okay, love it. Thank yeah. you. Welcome to Earth and Owl. I'm Nikki. You are watching Barn Bounce with the Lymph Love Crew. And to start off our warm up today, we're going to do a little lymphatic pat down, hitting the big six. I want to emphasize that I am not an expert. I'm not a physician. I'm not a doctor. There are many, many lymphatic experts out there who have tons of helpful information. What I do know is that rebounding is amazing for your lymphatic system, which is a little bit like the toilet that flushes the junk out of your body. But this pat down helps to make sure that that toilet is not clogged, so to speak. So this just consists of circular rubbing motions and little taps as if you were patting someone on the back. And we're gonna start with just above and just below your collarbone. So pick a side and just rub counterclockwise, clockwise, above and below a few times. And give a little tap like you are patting someone on the back. And then switch to the other side. And there are videos out there that are gonna tell you, you know, how long to do this, how much pressure to apply, all of that. Dr. Perry Nicholson is a really good person to follow on social media for this. All right, give a pat. I've got my uh, microphone here, so I don't wanna. All right, now find the location kind of just below your earlobe where you would pierce your ears and you can kind of feel your skull and your jawbone there. So give a rub there. You can do one side at a time if that's easier. And a little tap here as well. Next location is going to be the muscles or area where your chest meets your shoulder. So kind of right into almost your armpit. Circular motions back and forth. And a pat. Other side. And I would encourage you to do this before every rebounding session. And a pat. Okay, next, put one hand over your belly button and then one hand above and a little pressure here as you do clockwise, counterclockwise. It's like a pat your head, rub your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a test. <laughs> and a pat. All right, the creases where your leg meets your body. <laughs> This crew, we don't know how to be serious, do we? You know what? The, my whole goal as an instructor is to make this fun. That's like my number one goal. All right, Pat. And then finally behind your knees. So if you need to, you know, prop a leg up on the rebounder here. And Pat. And other side. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so a little closer to the inside. Yeah. No, that, that's, I'm sure that's right. Like I said, I, I, there's a lot of information I don't have about the lymphatic system, and there are people out there who do have it. So we're going to move on. And now that we've got that done, we're going to do a little stretch here. So let's hit the hamstrings. Bend down. And lift the toes, lift the heels. All right, 
bend your knees, lift and rise. Let's put one foot on the rebounder. This takes a little bit of balance, but we're just going to start with a straight leg, shift your hips forward to a lunge and pull it back. Like, is that thunder or equipment <laughs> out there? Someone made a comment on one of our videos that said, like the questions and the unedited conversation is, they said it was the absolute gold of the videos that you don't see in other, other workouts. And I thought that was just a really nice comment. All right, let's do the other side. answer a question or something. <laughs> yeah, another person said, I like how I feel a part of it because, you know, so, okay, we're doing all music today. So I'm going to get the music turned on. You can step up onto your rebounder. Okay, we are on. Let's find our health bounds. Take a deep breath and sigh it out. Just making sure that sometimes I get paranoid that I'm, yes, it's recording, it's recording. <laughs> I get paranoid that I, the recording button stopped or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this up just a little bit too. Just making adjustments here. Four, 
Step tap coming up in four, three, two, here we go. Eight, seven, six, down bounce in four, three, two, down bounce right here, four, three, two, now march for four, three, two, how we doing? Hold right here. Yes? Okay. I can't quite see everybody in the, the camera, but we're feeling it? Okay. So let's try that one more time. Then we'll add and move on to that. So it's like a ladder that we're building here. Okay. Eight. Step tap. In four. Three. Two. One. And I know we got something good. that we practiced last week. Remember the half jack? Stepping wide with one foot. Counting it off. In four, three, half jacks right here. Take it out, in, out, in. We're using all moves that we've learned so far. Pick up the beat here, new song. When I saw you over there, I was in shock. Waiting for that drum bit here. <laughs> That's all right. If you keep this up, then I'll. with a little march in between. Count to four. So take it over here. Two, three. Half jack for four. Right here for four. Three, two, march. Here we go. Other side. Two, three. Half jack this way for four. Three, two, march for four. Right here. Four, three. Stepping over. Half jack. Here we go. Four, three, two, and march. How we doing? Four, Way. And march. That's okay. Sometimes we start thinking and it throws us off. Couple more times. Four, three, two, way. Four. Last time, right here. March it over. Half jack. Okay, new song. Shake it out. 
deep breath. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Nothing to hold me back. All right. So let me think about this for a second. One, two, three, four. We march to the other side. One, two, three, four. And we march back to center. Yep, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking in my own brain here as we go. Adding on. We're doing our tiptoe. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Yes. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. Oh. You can just do I one. I found my way. Like this? I was in the dark, I guess it all, but made it do the thing, cause I found my way. Yeah. I found my way. I'm just thinking about. Pushing my heel down, push, push, push. See now I'm I'm almost getting forward, kind of getting low. Push, push. Yeah, leaning forward. Yeah, so that that's that athletic ready position. Getting over to the 
side. Open it up. Here we go. Four, three, two. March other side. Half jack. Here we go. For four, three, two. Tiptoe. Four, eight, seven, six. everyone so we'll probably be able to get through this routine a few times let's wait and find that rhythmic beat let's turn it up a little bit all this time all right here we go four three two here we go eight seven six down down right here for four four to do yeah. what I do in that situation sometimes is hold the arms steady uh, and just practice the legs first uh, and as I get comfortable with what the legs are doing sometimes you'll have a feeling of where your arms want to go uh, so that's a tip to try um, but yes I usually on camera when I'm you know teaching live I say what feels natural with your arms if it's just kind of waving them around like when I do these step taps yeah. that's okay you know what feels kind of good my shaky legs kind of had second uh second um thoughts about not having a bar yes <laughs> yes casey we removed the bar so way to go yes that's great i mean if you use the bar you can you can have it on your rebounder forever but as i was watching casey editing the video i was like i don't think she needs it <laughs> I like the, the half jack stuff is a lot easier for me to kind of like lift your foot or whatever you know the one is down. It's easier for me to get to that when we just do the four. But in the beginning when we're like doing it for a while, Over and over and over. My leg is like, no, we're not. Yeah. And okay. Then it gets Good. so like tense. Yeah. I don't feel, I feel like I'm actually just putting all pressure there uh -huh. and just trying to stabilize myself. Mm hmm. Bounce. Yes. So a lot of times what I'm doing in the beginning is helping you with muscle memory. So we practice it over and over and over for a while so that when we break it down to those fours, you're like, I know what this is. I can do it in only four counts, if that makes sense. So that's why we build as a ladder out that choreography. So we've re repeated it over and over and over to the point that we're like, yeah, I got this. I know what to do next. Um, and for me, I don't know how you all feel. Did anyone think about um, 
you know, their grocery list or no, no. things yeah. that they needed to do. Yeah, yes, <laughs> right? Like, no, that's we were so yeah. focused. Yeah. And that's why this becomes such a, a moving meditation. It is helpful to have a focus point. I, I mm. have a focus point to make sure that I'm like. Yeah, looking at the same. Yeah. Yes. That yes, that is good. Yeah. That's so. Funny why you see me looking at the ground. There's like a spot. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do on Friday is we're going to do a same moves, but we're going to do hit style instead of choreography. Because then that just gives people an opportunity to go. Ooh, I really love this style of workout. I love the choreography, or I love the hit, or hit is, hit is intervals. So like you're doing a move and then you have a rest period, and then you do a move and then you have a rest period. So totally different from choreography where you're learning a routine. <laughs> That's what you took away from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, and you're, you're, in hit, you want to push yourself. Oh, so let's okay. say we're like you're push pushing, and then whew, you rest. Gosh. You know, Sorry. so you get your heart rate up. Nope, no, you're good. My dance move was wipe the sweat. <laughs> I love that. Wipe the sweat. We'll have to make that a new move. <laughs> All right, big inhale. Love the questions, and I think that if you have questions, people at home have questions, right? All right, let's step down and just get those ankles and hamstrings. So one foot on, give me a point and flex. I was like really honestly kind of nervous. I'm like, cause I can't see how everybody's doing very well in that little tiny camera. So I'm like, just rolling with it. Like, how are we doing? <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah, kind, of kind of like when you're on a treadmill and like then you yeah, step yeah, off yeah, and you're like yeah. you feel like you're still moving yeah, well, you could nice. stay on longer you know and stop bouncing and just kind of stay on the trampoline a little longer i think i just got to the bar to make sure i was stable yeah but yeah I mean, well I'm and this with right. vestibular issues you're never probably going to want to rebound without a handlebar just because things can pop up with those in vestibular issues, my understanding is it can throw your sense of balance off. So always just having that bar there that you can hang on to when you need to. So when you feel good, so you're like, yeah, let's get off the stretch, but then you're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yes. I always tell people, buy the handlebar, even if you think you don't need it, because I do a bunch of workouts that it, it's just fun. It can be fun to have it there. Um, I do like a handlebar hit class that, you know. I like to learn the thing that kids do without handlebars where they like keep their weights like this. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> I use the handlebars so I can look fast and look cool. Yes. And then can you edit out the handlebars? So like <laughs> I'll see if my editing skills are that good. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's take our hands around behind our back and just clasp them together and try to push them a little straight any amount that you're able. Pull your heart forward a little bit, kind of pulling those shoulders back, a little uh, stretch through the chest. And if you had a tail, you're just lightly trying to tuck that tail under so you're not over-rotating your pelvis. And finally, let's finish by releasing the arms here and just reaching them up and overhead. You know, I have very, very regularly in my live classes, many people like in their 70s. Um, and this is kind of how I teach a lot of my live classes is just breaking down a little routine. If something's not working for you, you can march in place. You can jog in place. You can do a move that you love and pick it back up when you feel comfortable or are ready. There's no have to. Does that make sense? Like there's no, you don't have to do it this way or that. All right, I think we are done. Great job everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye.